Okay, thanks uh, for coming today. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this day. Uh, I kind of uh, talked to Kate a little bit uh, the other day about uh, believing, and, and I think whenever uh, you come into situations uh, like SMU or University of Hawaii or the Oilers or wherever I've been, you, the, the first thing you have to do is get everybody on the same page and you got to believe. It's a culture, and Steve believed in me. Uh, the SMU uh, uh, people, uh, some of them here today, uh, believed in me. And I think if you take anything away from from today's uh, press conference is that I really believe that, that we're going to turn this corner and we're going to get it done. And I think today uh, I, I'm really proud to announce, and I, I kind of leaked it out of the bag uh, the other day, that we're going to sell out our stadium and it's going to be a historic uh, deal, the largest crowd ever to come to uh, uh, to SMU to watch a football game. I'm really uh, uh, excited for our kids to come out of that tunnel and see it sold out. We're going to do it. I think everybody uh, that has, uh, we put together a very prestigious uh, uh, group of uh, business leaders and SMU uh, loyal uh, people uh, to make the commitment uh, to get this done. And uh, that's going to make a huge statement to our kids when they run out of that tunnel and the recruits uh, uh, that will be there at that game. It's just really going to be a, a powerful thing. We have uh, uh, put together three uh, business leaders, two of which are here today that I want to introduce you to. Bob Bodine to my left and, and Paul Lloyd to my right. And Carl Sewell, who was unable to be here today, have agreed to co-chair uh, this uh, great event. and. Uh, with that, I am going to kind of introduce uh, introduce you to Paul Lloyd and ask him to say a few words, and, and we'll uh, continue just to move along. Okay, thank you, June. Um, I want you to know I believe as well that this is a great campaign. I've been here for a while, and I've, I've never been as excited as I am now. Uh, my focus, of course, is on the committee. It's a great group of guys. Uh, we've got everybody from Dallas, you know, Cowboy quarterback legend Roger Staubach. Uh, we've got the Mavericks senior vice president George Killebrew. Uh, Carl Sewell of Sewell Automotive and, and some really good people here in Dallas that love SMU, love the city, and want to support this uh, program. And we'll be contacting a lot of people throughout the community to get into this campaign as we go forward. Uh, I'm as excited about the future of SMU as I've, as I've ever been. I graduated here in 1968. Love the school, uh, love the city. I think great days are ahead for SMU football and their fans, uh, especially the ones that have been with uh, the program through thick and thin. And for the new fans, they can experience really the resonance of SMU football. Uh, now my pleasure to introduce one of our co-chairmen, uh, Bob Bodine. Thank you. Hey, I'm really excited, Paul and Coach. Um, you know, I believe, I, I think, uh, you know, when you're around someone like Coach Jones, you're around Steve Orsini, this, is, this whole culture's totally changed. Um, you know, it's true today that winning programs, of course, bring lots of fans, but fans help football programs win and so we got to meld the two you know so uh, the largest announced crowd I think that ever happened here at Gerald Ford Stadium was 34,689 and we're gonna beat that uh, for the op uh, you know this upcoming home opener Stephen F Austin SMU now some of you may be saying holy cow I can't believe that that's unbelievable it takes faith in this process I'm telling you I believe you know, uh, you know, some people don't have that faith, but I'm telling you that if you can get in a cab in New York, uh, you know, you can also believe right here. <laughs> so listen, this probably hasn't been said at many news conferences before, but I'm going to say it right here, and that is that, ladies and gentlemen, friends, you got to get out right now and get your tickets because it's going to be a sellout. You have to get out there right now, and you have to start doing this, and it's September 5th, 2009. So, in addition to the fact that we are going to have a sellout, you can see it. I know you can see it in your mind how exciting it's going to be out here at Gerald Ford Stadium. It's going to be unbelievable. When you see that, you know, you're also going to get, you know, we're going to get Rudy Gatlin. He's the Grammy Award winner. He's going to sing the, the, the national anthem. He's going to sing this amazing, you know, song that's world famous called Boulevard. We're going to have other entertainment and things going on. So, you know, let me tell you one more time. We're going to sell out. Now, I mean, that's the most exciting thing. So, you know, hey, everybody kind of pony up, get those ears up. All right, with that, uh, I uh, kind of open it up to questions. Uh, uh, 
I know that uh, feel free to ask anything you want. If you want football questions or, or sellout questions, uh, we're here to, to uh, answer all of them. So, Brad, you want to uh, recognize whoever has anything? Well, uh, well, Steve and I and uh, Mike have been talking about uh, doing some things. Steve has, has a this is a, a just a portion of the plan to to market the school uh, that that he has kind of put together. And and uh, uh, Kevin Kaplan, who uh, is my uh, has run my foundation, I met about six seven years ago, and I knew that he had done these things at Tulane, at Rice, at UNLV, and uh, the formula is uh, a formula that works. And I. I already know it's going to work better here at SMU because of the support, because of the quality of the people that want, are rooting for for us to, to get it done. And so that, that's where it originated. Is it a focus on corporate sales or group sales or how, how can you? Both. Season tickets, uh, we, we're uh, anticipating that we'll, we'll sell over 2,500 season tickets in this uh, uh, package. We'll also uh, individual game tickets for the first game. And also they have uh, a way to uh, uh, if a person uh, can't use it for the first game, we have the ability to, to push them into to other games too. So, so we're like I said, it's it's a, a formula where we are going to get people in the, the stands and and sell the tickets. I think they've they've had games here where where they have had people in the stand, but but we're going to have set a, a goal for the most tickets sold in a game. And that's, that's what we're going. Was there any thought of doing this maybe for a conference game and not Stephen at Boston? Or what will it say if you can do it for the first game of the year? Well, we're, we're going to sell out a couple other games this year, uh, too. Uh, uh, and we'll do that by, by winning. And uh, obviously, Navy's a big uh, big game for us. They'll, they'll have a lot of fans. I think a lot of times the, uh, the, the, the reason Stephen F. Austin, as we went through it, there, there's been big crowds. But usually, the big crowds are associated with the other team coming. And we are, this is SMU's crowd. And that, that's why Stephen at Boston. Nothing's going to set a tone bigger and better for the football team, right, when they walk out and see this crowd. Were you all involved in putting this committee together with other Dallas businessmen? And why was uh, Roger Staubach? Why did he get involved? I think Roger Staubach sees, first off, he's a friend of SMU. Uh, and he was a friend of June's. He's a friend of the city, and nothing's better for the city, isn't it? And this is what this is all about. Who doesn't want to come to SMU Sadia every single game and see this sold out? It's too exciting. This is what we were we were always meant to have, and we're gonna we're having it again. Coach, you must have a lot of faith in your kids to be able to handle this kind of pressure for one game. Well, um, I I think that uh, if you can't win uh, in, in those type of settings, then you're going to struggle probably throughout the year. So we're excited to put the pressure on the kids so they know how to respond to that when the big games get bigger and it happens. It's the same thing about winning on the road. You're never going to be a really good football team until you can win on the road. And, and winning at home is something you, you have to be able to do as a football team. You have to maintain your home field advantage and steal some games along the, the way on the road to get to that next level. And, and, and putting the kids in those situations are, are the, the, the way you get better.